Thomas owns the condo Chuck Crosby here in Louisville in a three-story building. Apparently, the condo unit above his developed a leak in the bathroom that worked its way down into Thomas's bathroom. It destroyed the ceiling above his tub. And so now Thomas is trying to figure out who's going to pay for the damage to the bathroom. He would presume it's going to be the tenant or the condo owner above his. But is that standard? Would you, what would you well, say? You, you've got it. Well, there is no standard. E each condo association is going to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, but typically, if it's something that uh, uh, where the guy right above you has a leak and it damages something below you, well, first off, you have to determine what portion of all this is is good the condo going to take care of if there is a portion well great it's taken care of that portion that's not taken care of well it's like anything else if i come into your house and you know start pouring water on your rug or whatever and i cause damage in there um well you're going to come after me for it now the way i've seen it roll out with condos is uh when you have a condo, there's an insurance policy that covers the things the condo is responsible for. And then there's a policy that butts up to it for each individual unit owner. Uh, at least you ought to be getting that. Uh, certainly, if you have a loan, you're going to have it. If if you're buying it cash, you still want to get it. Um, and you would, uh, you would contact that insurance company because you want to have that thing fixed, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then typically they go after the other person. Um, that's how I've seen it roll out generally in cases where there aren't insurance, you just sold. So um, small claims court come into this? Uh, well, it depends on the, the dollar amount. Uh, yeah. if it's over 2,500 bucks, you're going to be in district court or circuit court. 